my favorite place on earth. New York City, baby. And it's currently New Year's Eve, but I'm not going to like the ball drop or anything. We are staying pretty close to it. There she is, right down there. But I have no desire to stand and wait in Times Square for eight hours. And we've stayed in the same hotel my entire life, like every single time we come to New York. And this is the first time we're staying somewhere different. And it's very strange. Mom. Hannah. <laughs> are you a material girl? I don't know. You want to be. Say yes. I'm a material girl. Material girl. Voila. Oh, she found ice. I know I said we weren't gonna do the Times Square thing. Amy had the idea that if we just lingered around the streets, that we would just catch it at the right moment. And we did, as you saw in that video. We were just standing on a corner, a bunch of police officers yelling at us. We didn't move. We saw the ball drop and we weren't planning on seeing it. I guess that's a bucket list item that I can check off. Breakfast. Anyways, it's the day after New Year's. We just went to a little tea house and I definitely meant to vlog but I didn't and so anyways we're going shopping now because we have time to kill we're about to get on the subway and then hopefully find something cute at I forgot what it's called we're back in our hotel room and I didn't vlog anything because it started pouring rain and everything was closed because it's New Year's Day, so there was there was no shopping being done by us. I'm getting ready to go to... Mom, what's it called? Carbone. Carbone. Apparently it's very famous. Um, and it's Kylie Jenner's favorite restaurant in the city. That's what my mom said. Why does this keep turning off? And I have a really cute outfit that I'm very excited to wear. It's also raining, so hopefully my hair stays straight. Probably not, though. My mom said I should curl my hair. I feel like the lighting in this mirror is almost too good like for this camera like it's really making me like look like a doll how am I so out of breath from the stairs here we are at the Brooklyn Museum we're here for the Christian Dior exhibit I looked at the photos online and it's supposed to be really cool so I guess we shall see I already told you, the girls to get it, get it, the girls are downtown. Well, tell me, so I can get it too. <laughs> Why is everything so scary? I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh, here we go. Oh my. in Soho and oh my god that's so we're shopping but Amy has decided that I'm a terrible shopper but we already knew this I suck at shopping because I can't make a decision ever and I convinced myself that like I can find something better somewhere else hold on there's a Christmas tree on the street oh my gosh we just passed uh the place where like all the NYC girlies take their Instagram photos I'm out of breath Oh, my hands are freezing. Oh, also, my outfit is very out of character today. I'm wearing a green scarf and blue jeans. I was feeling, well, actually, what did Amy say? I don't actually remember what you said because I said I wanted to maybe wear black pants, so she made me wear the jeans, but it's cute. Out of the box. 
out of the box. But I've gotten a lot of compliments on my coat today. Which is, oh my gosh. Ooh, picture maybe. Amy wants to go to Rockefeller to see the tree. We're gonna go look at the tree. Oh, there it is. So pretty. So pretty. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It's been like three hours since we were outside and my body still defrosted. So last night, and I know I didn't vlog like literally anything, but trying to find something to wear. I've already worn like everything I was planning on wearing. So it's time to get creative, I guess. Okay, here's the outfit. Amy very disapproves. We were supposed to go get steak. She said, well, I thought you were gonna dress cute. Now you are you look like a goth girl. I said, you're dressed for McDonald's. <sighs> she said, I'm dressed for McDonald's. I like it. And I'm gonna be warm and cozy. Also, I bought these masks because I saw them on a lot of famous people. Like Ariana Grande wears them, I think. I actually talked about masks in my first YouTube video. I said I bought black masks because someone on TikTok said hot girls wear black masks. I'm so easily influenced. And I bought this pack of these ones only for this $30 for 50. <laughs> I bought a pack of 100 black masks for like $7 on Amazon. So I think like. I don't want to like people to get angry, but I think Tim, Tim, oh my gosh, Tim, <laughs> Timothy Chalamet wears them. That might be wrong though, but it's like some pretty boy. I already got it. I'm on it. Now we are headed to Times Square for the, oh, it's really windy. I hope you can hear me. We're going to the Stranger Things pop up and I already went to the one in LA. And it's like the exact same thing, but it was so cool. And I loved it so much that we were going again. I have a photo. What did you call it earlier? The Demogorgon. Demogorgon. Gonna get my photo taken with another Demogorgon. Y'all ain't never seen anyone vlog before. Um, I'm going to the subway. Amy's freezing because she didn't bring the proper attire. Oh, we might find somewhere different to eat because I'm not dressed appropriately for a steakhouse, apparently. I'm navigating perfectly tonight. Last night we had an incident and Amy was not too happy. <laughs> well, we missed that one. <laughs> We've been missing trains all week. Last night we um were, we were leaving that cool thing that we went to, and she said I don't want to do the directions, and she made me do it, and things did not go so well. <laughs> and she wouldn't let it go. She was like, Hannah, this is a colossal mistake on your part. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. No, what was the word that you used? Exponential. This is an exponential mistake. Look how great I am. Right when we walked out. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, they have a Demogorgon quilt. Shut up. I'm like such a fangirl right now. It says do not touch. <laughs> Trust that I will have a haul for <laughs> y'all whenever I get home. Okay, we're at dinner. Amy forced me to change. I'm glad she did because this place is really nice. And there's no like coat. You don't have to like check your coat in LA. Even if you go to a nice restaurant because you don't wear coats. And he was like, do you want to check your coat like they do in Gossip Girl? And I said, absolutely. I feel like in every episode, like something goes wrong with the coat check. Do you know what I mean? 
like someone takes something with like something in the pocket. I don't know. It was cool. They just brought us our food and served it for us. It looks yummy though. Oh, just put my sleeve in the macaroni and cheese. Got myself a dirty martini. Absolutely disgusting. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I order them. It's so gross for the aesthetic. Anyways, I'm gonna eat now. Okay guys, whole time. Uh, we just went to dinner. <sighs> it was a really nice dinner and actually very good food, but one second. I never post hauls anywhere, like anywhere, but I feel the need to show you guys what I got. Oh wait. Okay, well these are from the Dior exhibit that we went to at the Brooklyn Museum. They're just little cards of like the outfits that we saw because they were amazing. Okay, first I got, I already have a Stranger Things shirt, but you can't really tell it's Stranger Things unless like you watch it. It's like all of the characters and then Millie Bobby Brown and the Upside Down. But like, if you didn't watch it, you'd be like, why the hell do you have like a bunch of children in your shirt? So I got this. I've been wanting a shirt like this for a while. It just says the Stranger Things logo on it to show my appreciation for the production and cast. Changed my life. Just kidding. Not really. I'm actually not kidding at all. It really did change my life. I am like a very unhealthily obsessed with this show. And I can't believe that the first season came out five, six years ago. Well, I don't know, five or six years ago. And the fact that they have only put out three seasons is even crazier and more annoying. -er. But I don't think you guys are ready for what I'm about to show you. I'm so excited about this. Are you ready? It's a freaking <gasps> Demogorgon stuffed animal. <laughs> and I told my mom, I told my mom that I was getting it for our dog. <laughs> This is not for the dog, it's for me. <laughs> it's not for Gizmo. Gizmo would destroy this. <laughs> it's too cute to be destroyed. This is my- Look at it. It's like the only villain in the entire show. But it's so cute and little and small. It's for me and I don't care. I have no shame. It's adorable. That's all I got, but I just really thought you guys would like to know. But I think it's insane that the fourth season was supposed to be out over a year ago, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I yeah. It was like right before COVID started, they like posted their promos. But I am glad that they're waiting because like good things take time and they want it to be like the best of the best because I assume this will be the last season Otherwise, the cast is going to look like actual adults, which they are adults. They're all like 18, but they're still playing like 16 year olds, but they look young. But if they push it any further, it's gonna be like, these people are 30 years old. Stop. But all good things must come to an end, similar to this vlog, but we have one more day ahead of us. Amy changed our flight so that we could leave later in the day so that we don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. and get on a plane at 7 a.m. We're gonna go to the library tomorrow. Uh, not because we want a book, because it's really pretty in there. Amy actually does read. I don't think she wants to check out a library book though. So we're just going to see. It's, the vibe is kind of like old money, I think. Or maybe like vampire. Like Vampire Diaries, Stefan and Damon's house. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the correct terminology. We're gonna go there. We're gonna get some pizza from Bleecker Street Pizza because that's both of our favorite pizza place. Do you wanna know the craziest part about all of this? We came to New York. Obviously, I love clothes. We went shopping for probably, mm, three or four hours today in Soho. We went to a bunch of cute places. I mean, we've stopped at a bunch of cute places this entire time. Do you wanna know the only thing I bought? This. This is the only thing I could justify being worth my money. That's crazy. And I have no regrets. Like, honestly, nothing even really caught my eye today. It wasn't even like, ooh, should I buy that? Which. I guess it's a good thing that I didn't spend any money. 
really at all. I'm actually a pretty good money saver when it comes to clothing shopping because I refuse to buy anything unless I absolutely am obsessed with it and I can't live without it. And it also takes me a very long time to decide if I like something. Like if I go into Zara, oh my gosh, I actually remember one time I really liked this coat from Zara and I was like, I'm gonna buy this. And then I was like, wait, what would I wear this with? And my rule of thumb is that if you can't wear it with three different outfits, you shouldn't buy it. So I decided that I only wanted to wear it for like, I don't know, one thing. But then when I went home, I was like, wait, I could wear it with this and this and this and this and this. And then I was like, I really want this. And I went back to Zara. Guess what? It was gone. Which is probably a good thing because in reality, I probably only would have worn it once. Just a little life hack for you guys. Oh my, my hair. I went to the library. So studious of us. Okay. They're closed. <laughs> We're on Fifth Avenue. We might as well go shopping. I know. She's been talking about coming to the library for like the entire trip. So, what else do you want to do? <laughs> Definitely the wrong shoes to wear at the freaking airport. Everyone was staring at me like I was a psycho. These are all tangled up in all my shit going through the thing. We're back in Texas and I know this vlog was all over the place. But I literally say that in like every single video. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. It was such a fun trip and I have a lot of trips planned for this year. So hopefully I will get better at remembering to vlog. As always leave me requests, video recommendations. But I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.